Eaton Square, no entry unless you have a spare few million to spend on a new home. It's beat the likes of Cadogan Place and Chester Square to become London's most desirable place to live. The square was built in 1824, when London's housing market was booming, after the end of the Napoleonic Wars. Most of these buildings have now been converted into flats. Only seven houses now remain. So what are the benefits of living in Eaton Square? Lorna Vesti has been selling property in the square for the past 12 years. It's a lovely square with beautiful architecture, lovely buildings, and it overlooks gardens in the heart of Belgravia. Easy reach of all of Knightsbridge and to Sloane Street and the shopping and everything else. It's been fashionable for years. It is a great location. But it's not all good news. The downsides are, of course, traffic, which we find in most of central London, let's face it. Uh, but also there have been some resistance to the sort of leases that were available. People didn't want to buy 20-year leases, which is what the Grosvenor Estate had been offering for some years. One of the square's most famous residents is Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, but he's been trying to sell his house for the past year or so. So far, there have been no takers at £17 million. One of his more satisfied neighbours is Diane Condon, who moved in in January. You know, I think back to the first time I came to London 25 years ago and went home with these memories of these beautiful cream-coloured buildings with the, uh, with the numbers on them, and I think that kind of sticks in your mind as this is beautiful London. Not quite so impressed is Morris the Milkman, who's been on this round for the past 15 years. Well, I thought uh, Mayfair would have beaten it, actually, and uh, I live out of town in Richmond, and uh, I'd much prefer to be out in Richmond than stuck in the middle of town. For what you'd pay for any of the dozen or so flats that are on sale in the square at the moment, you'd get more space for your money in other desirable parts of London. And to live here, you'll also need a second mortgage to pay the service charges. But the main thing that would put me off is this. If you're going to spend four and a half million pounds on a house in London, you don't want it to be on the doorstep of a four-lane carriageway. Richard Slee, Channel One, Eaton Square.